U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lamy arrived in Kiev on a joint visit Wednesday, as Ukraine presses the West to allow it to use long-range missiles against Russia. The top diplomats attended a meeting with their Ukrainian counterpart Andriy Sibiha Wednesday afternoon where they reiterated their long-standing support Ukraine. We're here together as partners to listen, to share ideas and to continue to plan the way forward. I hope makes it very clear that there's an enduring commitment to Ukraine and to the Ukrainian people," said Blinken. Lamy told Sibiha that the UK has a £3 billion commitment to Ukraine, adding that he and Blinken are in Kiev to listen at this critical moment. We remain united in our stand because the only person that gains from any sense that we are not together, of course, is Putin," he said. The rare joint visit by the British and American top diplomats was, unusually, announced in advance, a public signal of U.S.-U.K. support for Ukraine ahead of what's likely to be a brutal winter of Russian attacks. Russian airstrikes, mostly aimed at crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure, have intensified in recent weeks with nightly missile and drone attacks. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia, and is expected to press harder given Russia's latest reported weapons acquisition. We're here together uh, as uh, partners to, uh, to listen, to share ideas, uh, and to continue to plan the way forward. Uh, I hope it makes it very clear that there's an enduring commitment to Ukraine and to the Ukrainian people. We have a three billion pound commitment to Ukraine to spend year on year until we see the result and the Russian imperialism and aggression come to an end. That is why we are here, and we're here to listen at this critical moment, to hear and understand the issues on the battlefield, the further support that you believe you need to understand that uh, as we head towards critical moments in the international calendar, Unger, particularly coming up in the United Nations, um, but also the G20 and other forums this year. We remain united in our stand because the only person that gains any sense that we are not together, of course, is Putin. Two Delta Airlines planes collided on a taxiway at Atlanta's airport Tuesday morning, with a larger plane knocking over the tail of a smaller regional jet. No injuries were reported and Delta said passengers would be rebooked on other flights. Atlanta-based Delta said the wing of a Delta Airbus A350 jet that was bound for Tokyo hit the tail of a smaller Bombardier CRJ-900 that was on an adjacent taxiway. The smaller plane, operated by Delta subsidiary Endeavour Air, was preparing to take off for Lafayette, Louisiana. Jason Adams, a meteorologist for WFTS-TV in Tampa, Florida, who is traveling to Louisiana to cover Tropical Storm Francine, recounted the moment of impact on social platform X, well that was terrifying, Adams wrote. Taxiing out for the flight from Atlanta to Louisiana and another plane appears to have clipped the back of our plane. Very jarring, metal scraping sounds then loud bangs. We're fine. No fire or smoke. Adams posted pictures of the tail of the smaller plane knocked on its side and laying on the taxiway. Delta said the wing of the larger plane was also damaged. Officials at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport said passengers from one plane were bussed back to the terminal, while the other plane returned to a gate under its own power. Delta said it would cooperate with the National Transportation Safety Board and other authorities to investigate. The Federal Aviation Administration says it is also investigating. 
Airport officials described disruptions to operations at the world's busiest airport as minimal.